Here is how to master the pen tool in Adobe Illustrator. In the next 5 minutes, you will be able to use the pen tool to recreate this real estate logo. Without much ado, let's jump right into the tutorial. Welcome to my channel. My name is Vincent Anu. Let's begin with answering this question. What does the pen tool do? Pen tool is a very versatile design tool that every designer must learn how to use to create logos, book cover designs, collaterals, portrait art designs, isometric designs, image tracing, icon designs, and so on. My job is to hold your hand and show you the easiest way to master this beast of a tool. So I have designed a workbook that's very easy to follow. Feel free to download it from the description section if you would like to practice along. Meet the pen tool. Drawing with the pen tool can be done with your mouse, but welcome tablet pen is preferable. The welcome tablet stylus pen makes it easy for you to navigate the curves and contours of irregular shapes. Click on the link in the description section below to check out the welcome tablet. Click on the pen tool icon on the toolbar to select the pen tool, or use the shortcut by pressing letter P on your keyboard. If you select the pen tool and see this X icon, it means your caps lock is on. Turn off the caps lock if it bothers you and return to the pen tool icon. In Illustrator, the pencil tool functions the same way as your physical pencil. But the pen tool is different, so I would like to show you how to use it. Click and release to add an anchor point. Move to a new location and click and release again to add a new anchor point. Then pen tool connects the two anchor points with a line which is called a path. The first type of path we are going to create is the open path. The first reference image in our workbook is an example of the open path. It's a dotted line, tracing the dotted lines. Select the pen tool, click and release at the beginning of the dotted line. As you move to the end of the dotted line, observe you are struggling to keep the line straight. To create a perfect straight line, hold down the shift key and the line will be locked on a straight path. To terminate, press on the escape key on your keyboard. Or, let me first undo with Ctrl Z or Command Z on Mac. To terminate, hold the Ctrl key on your PC or Command key on your Mac and click anywhere on the artboard. Very simple. If you'd like to transform this path further, go to Property Panel, go to Stroke, change the color, increase the size, Click on stroke and play with these settings. Now let's move to the next line. Click and release to add an anchor point. Then move to the end of the dotted line and click. Now tell me how do we terminate? By pressing the escape key of course. That's our option A. I hope you still remember the second option. Let's change the color to blue. Increase the stroke size to the next dotted line. Click at the beginning of the dotted line. Then the end. How do we terminate using option B? Hold down the control key on your PC or command key on Mac and click anywhere on the artboard. But this line is not straight. So let's undo with control Z. How do we create a perfect straight line? Just hold the shift key and the line will be locked in a straight path. Let's move down to the next dotted line. As simple as click and release. Go forward to this point and click. Move upward to the peak and click, downward and click. Notice we are only clicking where the lines join together. The next dotted reference image is crisscross lines. We are going to trace the upper line in red. The same process, click on the joints only. Let's trace the lower line in blue. If you make a mistake, use Ctrl Z or Command Z to undo one step at a time and correct your mistake. Finally, it's time to recreate the real estate logo using only the pen tool. 
Let's assume that this reference image is your sketch, which you imported into the Illustrator, and you want to trace it out. Color it and transform it into a real logo. We will start tracing with the pen tool. We are going to trace out different shapes in this reference image. So we can color them shape by shape if that's what we prefer. Watch as we are about to close the path. The widget changes from asterisk to a circle and the path terminates by itself once it closes. No need to press the escape key or holding down the control or command key and clicking anywhere on your artboard. You have to ensure that no path is selected before clicking with the pen tool. Let's start from here. Keep clicking only at the joints. Now let's trace the window. You notice that I'm holding the shift key to keep the line on a straight path. In the middle, add one vertical line, terminate, then one horizontal line, terminate. It's time to color. See, we can select our logo shape by shape, use the color picker to sample colors from our reference image. If you are getting value so far from this video, kindly give it a thumbs up. I will appreciate it. Select the window, go to the Pathfinder panel. If you can't find the Pathfinder, go to Window and enable it. Then click on Divide. Go to Object and Ungroup. Now we have four separate squares as our window. Switch from Stroke Color to Fill. Change the stroke color to white. Increase the stroke size. And we have our window. Duplicate the window, resize it, and place it here. Spend more time to refine and fine tune your logo. In this workbook, we are going to trace curves and full circles. The pen tool has a learning curve, you remember, but once you get the hangs of it, it becomes easy to use. The first item is like what we have been doing, is a close path. Here we have a curved top. Click, then click here and hold and drag upward to create a curve like inside of a bow, a concave switch to stroke i can't remember the shortcut for switching colors from field to stroke uh, and vice versa right now please drop a comment if you know it so other viewers can benefit now we would like to continue tracing the rest of the shape but we need a straight path and not a curve notice the handle is not giving us a straight path we need a straight line some other time you just need to rotate the handle by holding down the alt key or the option key while we click and drag it this way. This is good, but in this design, we need a straight path. Let's undo with Ctrl Z. Therefore, we have to break the handle. Just click here to break the handle. Now we have a straight path. Here we have a curve like a dome, a convex. Click here, then click and hold and drag downward to create this type of curve. Let's recreate this heart. You can start tracing from anywhere. Do we drag upward or downward? Downward is correct. And now for the first time in this tutorial, we are going to trace a full circle. 
following the same steps let's click here then over there hold and drag downward it seems we have beaten more than we can chew so let's undo with ctrl z or command z then click halfway hold and drag very good please don't click on this corner take it further down click and drag to create a fitting curve looking very fine let's give it blue first so use shift plus control plus left square bracket to send it to the back i would like to give you a simple exercise use the pen tool to add a colorful ribbon around the heart Now watch me trace this spiral image. It's a combination of concave and convex curves. I would like you to practice with the one below. This image is created with the pen tool. The purple jet is created from the white one. Back to this image. This is the original image. And from this, we got that. Let me quickly recreate one of these canvas shoes. Notice the concave curve. I'm tracing out the red part. Now I'm tracing out the white part. A heart speed to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire. We rise like all buildings as the chemicals they take us higher now send the white part to the back it is just bigger finally let's design the shoelace Add background to make the canvas shoes pop. Very good, very good. I recommend you watch this portrait art video to practice your pen tool skills. Thank you so much for watching this video. Your subscription will be highly appreciated. You will find more useful videos like this.